Uh, greetings ladies and gents, I am the almighty Zentaco and today we're going to be learning how to make a climbable ladder for our platform game. So, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. We have some basic platform movement, left and right, and jump. And when we go up to this ladder, we can hold up to climb up, or down to climb down, complete with an animation. When we get to the top, we uh, can walk over it as if it were a platform. And we can get to the bottom, he will automatically disengage when he hits the ground. We can also jump off of the ladder. So, without further ado, let us open our second frame here. <clears throat> And uh, let's get started. You're going to need to do some basic things first. You need to set up your basic platform movement engine, just like I showed you guys many times before in my tutorial. So if you don't know how to do that, you need to look that up and get that under control. We're going to need to have a character who can move left and right and jump. So you're going to need some backdrops that are collidable. We got our player here. And uh, we're going to need to make some objects. So insert an object, make an active object. <clears throat> the first thing we're going to need to create is a sort of a hit indicator that uh, is going to follow our player's feet that lets us know that the the uh, it's going to let us know that uh, at our feet is the the uh, jump through platform. So we're going to call this platform tester. Let's just make this into a box. So delete that weird diamond that Click Team likes to put in here for their default object. Make it a red box and. Um, let me see what else we need to do this. Make sure it creates a start. All right, that's all we need to do for that. We're going to need a jump through platform, so insert another active object. Make this one a box as well of a different color. We'll make it like purpley blue. <clears throat> now this is going to be the same size as your backdrop. So our backdrop is 128 by 128 for this game. So this is going to need to be 128 by 128 as well. So go ahead and change that there in the properties. And place that in that gap. That's where the ladder is going to be. We need to make sure as well that this is not visible at start. Uh, what this is is, a, is a, something called a jump through platform. And what a jump through platform is, is a platform that <clears throat> whenever you, uh, you can go from underneath it to above it. But then once you do that, you're, you're, it's like a platform. You can walk on the top of it, but you can also jump through it. You know, like that makes sense. It's a jump through platform. Um, so... Yeah, make sure you have that there like that. Okay, now we need to have our ladder. So let's do that now. Add an object called ladder. And I have some art for this. I'm going to import it. Boom, ladder. And this thing is really big, so let's resize this to 128 for the width. And um, it just needs to be a reasonable height. There we go. Alright, let's run this and see how it looks. Okay, so our ladder is on the wrong Z layer. We need to move it to the back. So right click on the ladder, <clears throat> click on order and select to back. That should set it behind all the other objects. Um, now, the first thing we're going to need to do is have this uh, platform tester follow our player. We're going to use this to determine whether when our player is essentially above a jump through platform like so. Um, and that is so that we can allow our player to, by pressing down whenever he is above a, a jump through platform, he will move beneath that platform so he can then fall. Otherwise, he'll get stuck up there. So, another thing to keep in mind is you want your player to be smaller in width than the space between these objects here, which is 128. Otherwise, he will get stuck when he's trying to climb up. So, <clears throat> you need to have an always event and we are going to set the position of our platform tester relative to our player and it just needs to be at his feet somewhere in the middle let's test that and see if it's where we want it yep that'll work fine now we don't want to see this so let's make it invisible <clears throat> so click on your platform tester and uh, uncheck visible at start. All right, so this is going to be a bit complicated, so try to uh, keep with me here. All right, so the first thing we want to do is make it so that we can climb the ladder. So we need to set up something called ladder states, and we're going to do this through our alterable strings. So I already set this up. So what you need to do is add a new alterable string onto your player object, 
name it Ladder State or something similar. And then um, these states are going to be named after uh, off and on. So the default, it's off. Whenever it's off, that means he is not currently on the ladder. When it's on, he's on the ladder. So uh, make sure you type in off on there. That's going to be the default. So we want to be able to set the player to be able to climb this ladder. So we're going to say <clears throat> whenever... Whenever the player overlaps another object, and that object is the ladder, and whenever the player repeat while key is pressed uh, up. So <clears throat> while we're holding up and we're overlapping the ladder, we are going to change the state of the player uh, string here. Ladder state, we're going to change that to on, and we need to do the same thing if we uh, press down. So copy this and then uh, remove repeat while up arrow is pressed and replace that with repeat while down arrow is pressed. So that's going to set the ladder state to on um, both ways. Okay. Okay. Whenever ladder state is on, we are going to want to have the uh, player's center on the x-axis of the ladder. So whenever ladder state of the player equals on, uh, set the position, the x-coordinate, oh, whoa, whoa, sorry. That was on the ladder. Set the x-coordinate of our player to the x coordinate of our ladder. <clears throat> now we have to do something else. We um, want to make it so that whenever he is holding the ladder, whenever the state is on, but you are not currently holding up or down, that it sets the y velocity to zero. That way he just kind of stays on the ladder where you're at. So you have to actually climb up and down it. So uh, again, uh, ladder state equals on. So alter value compared to string ladder state is on. And then we are going to need to insert um, keyboard, repeat while key is pressed, up. Re and then we're going to copy and paste that. Repeat while key is pressed. We're going to double click here to change this to down. And now we need to negate both of these because we want this to happen when you are not holding down or up. So when that happens, we are going to set uh, the variable here of that uh, set y velocity to zero <clears throat> okay so now uh, we need to set it so that we can move up and down whenever we hold up and down while the ladder state is on so again uh, alterable value compared to the alterable string ladder state on now we're going to repeat this one while up is held And we need one too for when down is held. So just copy, paste, and alter that one uh, condition there. All right, so we're gonna go to our platform movement object. Whenever uh, up arrow is pressed, we need to go to variables and set the Y velocity to, I think this is negative, uh, negative 200. This might be reverse. Anyway, pull that down here and reverse that so it's, uh, it's the inverse. So if, if it was negative, make it positive. Let's test this and see. If this works, I might have had that backwards. Nope, that works. All right. <clears throat> now, as you see, he's like stuck on here. It's because we don't have a way to disengage yet. Um, anyway, so while you were holding these and you were going up and down, so he did go up and down it, but we also need to change his animation so that it has the climb animation. So when this is happening, set the animation, change animation sequence to climbing. So you're gonna need to have a climbing animation uh, for your character which needs to be looped. So anyway, copy that so that it happens either up or down. Um, we need to be able to disengage now. So there's a couple ways we're gonna want the player to be able to disengage. Uh, one is whenever we press jump. So upon pressing a key, and we have X as jump, so I'm gonna use that as well for my disengage. So whenever I press X, <clears throat> we're going here. So in the alterable string of ladder state to off. Now this should work. Let's double check and make sure this does make us fall off the ladder. As you see, we have the climb animation. We can go up and down and X falls off the ladder. So, so far so good. Um, as you can see here though, the problem is we get to the top and he's just gonna keep on climbing. All right, so <clears throat> we need to have it so that, um, do I have that plat, hold on, do I have this? Yeah, we need to make this a jump through platform. So, 
So the first thing we're going to want to do is set it so that if we uh, we want it so that if we climb past the ladder, because the state is currently on, so we can keep on climbing, that if we're no longer touching the ladder, it needs to turn the state off so that he falls off the ladder. So <clears throat> what we're going to do here is say test for a collision between another object, overlapping another object, and that is the ladder. Now negate this, so that means whenever the player is not overlapping the ladder, we are going to set the player state, uh, the string here, to off. Okay, so that'll get us off the ladder. <clears throat> now the problem we're gonna run into is we're gonna get to the top here and he's gonna fall off and then he's gonna just fall right back down um, because this is not a platform. So we need to turn this into a jump through platform. So what we're gonna do is do a collision test with the platform movement object. So collision testing, test for jump through platform overlap. Now we need another condition here. Check to see if the player collides uh, overlapping another object and that object is the active here, which we're using for a jump through platform. If that is happening, then we need to set it so that uh, under collisions in the platform movement object, that object does overlap with a jump through platform. So let's see if this works. This should allow us to climb to the top and um, stay there. Yep, perfect. Now we can't get down. So that is why we have that indicator that is currently invisible and following our uh, player. So we're going to check to see if this platform tester is currently overlapping another object, which is our uh, jump through platform. If that is the case, <clears throat> and uh, the keyboard, upon pressing a key down, we are going to set the player's string. Uh, oh, that's an alter five, sorry. Uh, set the player's string to on. So multiple string set, ladder state is going to need to be on. So that should center us. Now the thing is we're still gonna be above this platform. So we need to move him up just at least one pixel below this jump through platform. And once we do that, it'll consider us to no longer be colliding with it. So upon pressing that, we're gonna need to set our position, the Y coordinate to the current Y coordinate of our player. And we're gonna add just, I don't know, three pixels or something. Let's test this. All right, seems to work. It looks like there's kind of a glitch there though. Let me see if I can figure out what was happening. No, nope. seems like it works. Okay, um, now we have another problem. We are kind of stuck on this. We can't disengage this, so. How we're gonna do that is we're gonna say, if this platform tester is currently overlapping a backdrop and uh, repeat while key is pressed down, so we are descending the ladder and it's touched the backdrop, that means we are at the bottom. We are now touching the bottom of the ladder. So when that happens, we are gonna need to set the uh, state to off. <clears throat> Let's test that, that should be everything. If this works, we're done. So we can climb up. Hmm, I don't like that. Okay, we need to fix that. Uh, we can change the animation. We don't let, need to let that ever happen. Anyway, so we get to the bottom, press down. Yep, we get off the ladder. X jumps off the ladder, and we should be able to get to the top. Okay, now let's see. Why is that animation changing? Um, it's gonna be in the, okay, it's in our basic engine. I have it set to whenever I uh, repeat while right and left arrow is pressed, it is changing the animation sequence to walking. We need to add another condition to this. We're gonna insert and make sure that <clears throat> that's only doable whenever the state of the ladder state is off. So let's go to the alter string, set the ladder state to off. Okay, copy that condition, paste it here. Now we should no longer be able to change our animation when we're on the ladder. Yep. So uh, that's it. That is all you need to do to have a, a fairly simple ladder. Now this ladder does have a few flaws. As you can see, he's kind of slowly drifting downward. Um, you know, you could make some more complicated code to fix that. I don't really know why that's happening. I guess I guess I could set the gravity to zero. That would probably fix that. Uh, but honestly, I don't. I don't really mind too much. <clears throat> so um, hopefully you guys found this useful and that this wasn't too challenging. I know it's a little bit messy. Um, 
If you have any questions or comments about this, leave it in the comments as always. And if there's any other videos you'd like to see, uh, just let me know. And as always, uh, I would, I'd appreciate if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe. Maybe share this video. Help out some other people who are interested in learning some game design uh, techniques with Click Team Fusion. Um, all right, guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.